Among the teeming seafood in the Gulf of Mexico, none quite whets our collective appetites like oysters. The shell mounds that dot the region, some 10,000 years old, attest to the bivalve's eternal popularity. It's hard to imagine improving on the briny succulents of a freshly shucked oyster, but I'm going to try. The secret, you guessed it, the grill. I loaded the big green egg with natural lump charcoal and set it up for indirect grilling. Cooking temperature, 400 to 450 degrees. Step number one, grill the ingredients for the salsa. It starts with fresh corn, jalapeno chilies, and scallions. Brush the corn on all sides with melted butter. Then season the corn with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now to the grill. When your grill is hot, you want to open it a couple of times to let out the excess heat. This is called burping the grill. Then arrange the corn on the grate, add the jalapenos and the scallions. So why bother grilling the ingredients for the salsa? Well, anytime you char corn, you're charring the natural sugar in the corn. It gives you a caramel flavor. What is caramel? Caramel is just burnt sugar. Once the scallions are charred on both sides, transfer them to the sheet pan. And once your jalapenos are blistered, transfer them to the sheet pan. Last of all, the corn, and you can actually hear a little popping. It's almost like a popcorn effect as the corn kernels caramelize. Once the corn is browned on all sides, transfer it to the sheet pan. Close the grill lid to maintain the heat and let the vegetables cool. To make the corn salsa, cut the kernels off the cob. Why do I cut the corn this way? If you try and cut the corn this way, the kernels will fly all over the cutting board. But if you keep the ear low to the cutting board, the kernels will fall in a neat pile. Next, take a jalapeno chili Cut it in half and scrape out the seeds. Remember, the seeds are the hottest part of the chili. Don't use more than you mean to. Then make a couple of lengthwise incisions and widthwise incisions. And there are your diced jalapenos. Thinly slice the scallions and add them to the salsa. Finally, chop some fresh dill. You could use cilantro, but I thought dill goes so well with seafood and it would be a little different. Then you'll need freshly squeezed lime juice and a sprinkle of salt. Mix well. Of course, you can prepare this ahead of time. Mmm, crunchy corn, sweet dill, fiery jalapenos. This will go great with the oysters. And now the fun part. Shuck your oysters, protecting your hands with a dishcloth. Insert the shucking knife. Give a little twist to pry up the top shell. Then run the oyster shucking knife along the top of the shell and then underneath the oyster on the bottom shell to loosen it. And there's your oyster. Now spoon a little melted butter into each shucked oyster. Then return to the grill. Again, remember, it's hot, open it a little bit first to burp it, release those hot gases. 
Then place the oysters in their grilling rack on the grill. Cooking time is quick, five to eight minutes will do it. You're looking for the oysters to poach in their juices, but not completely dry out. Once the juices are bubbling, the oysters are ready. Just take them out. Careful not to spill those delicious juices and top each oyster with a spoonful of the corn salsa. And there, my friends, are your grilled Gulf Coast oysters with fire charred corn salsa. Let's take a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love grilled oysters. The sweet, crunchy corn and bright dill against that briny oyster. It's so simple, so fresh. Grilled oysters with corn salsa. It's a new Gulf Coast barbecue tradition.